Hi everyone, long time no see, especially with me being on the camera. <laughs> um, just wanted to get on today and do a quick video um, of some packages I've received, some cards, and thank you guys. Um, I've had some of these for quite a while and I haven't shared them yet, so I wanted to get on and do that today. Um, I wanted to say thanks again for all the messages, all the comments, um, uh, your condolences uh, with my aunt's passing. It's been, um, it's been just a little over a week since her um, funeral services, and that was a tough week. Let me tell you, um, dealing with a friend or family member who's committed suicide is a very, um, it's a roller coaster of emotions, of sadness, anger. <laughs> um, you go through a lot of emotions, not understanding why. Um, my aunt is the fourth member in my family um, to commit suicide, so it's um, it's very tough. And we've had a couple friends commit suicide too, friends of my husband and I. Um, my grandfather, my step grandfather, um, my uh, sister-in-law. Uh, my aunt and a cousin um, all passed due to suicide and um, like I said it's just a um, bunch of emotions that go through your mind when someone you love takes their life you just don't understand so thank you guys for your messages of condolences I appreciate it some of these cards are sympathy cards um, so let me get to sharing what you guys have sent me um, this here is from Natalie and her schnauzer Walter she sent me this cute card and these cute adorable and I can't wait to get them off here to wear schnauzer slippers gotta love some footies to wear around the house yes you do especially with schnauzers on them <laughs> and they've got the little nubbies on there so I won't slide on the wood floors. Um, thank you, Natalie. And this is from Linda. She said, just a little something, cause, cause you are special. Hope you enjoy using them. She sent me some cute dish towels. Thank you, Linda. Um, and then we got this package here. Oh, I need to make sure I'm not showing any, any addresses. Well, I can show mine, but not, not his. This is from, um, Paul in New York and he sent the kitties let me make sure I'm not showing anything he sent the kitty he said he wanted to show the kitties some love and um, they'll be so excited because I haven't shown them any of these toys yet because um, I wanted to share them on here first um, he sent the kitties a bunch of toys and they're gonna be so excited so excited this is a cruising critter this is probably going to drive the dogs nuts too. <laughs> They're going to probably want to get it to you. Looks like it's battery operated and moves around on the floor. And here's some more kitty toys. Yes, they're going to be so excited, especially this one here. This one is a uh, batty, batty birdie. Um, looks like it's just made out of catnip. <laughs> Let me show you guys that. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. I might have to give these out to the kitties tonight when the boys are all in bed, when I put them to bed. Um, and then a crackle shoot. Merlin will love that for sure. I don't know about Kitten. I don't know if he'll go in there or not. I, I could be surprised and he may go in there. So thank you so much, Paul, for showing the kitties some love. They're gonna love it. Maybe I can get a little bit of film. Um, and I give them their toys or maybe I'll just put the boys in their crates for a little bit and let the kitties enjoy themselves with their toys maybe I'll do that um and then I got some cards um this one is from Alyssa um she sent me this pretty sympathy card thank you Alyssa and then this one here is from Deb and Sherry. Thank you, Deb and Sherry. This one here is from 
Jim and Diane. Thank you both. I love cardinals. Yes, I do. I'm always, every time a cardinal comes to our bird feeders out front, which I got some new bird feeders. Um, a neighbor of my uh, mother-in-law made me some awesome bird feeders in this awesome um, picnic table for squirrels to eat off of. Oh my goodness, I gotta get some steam and I'm gonna steam them and then I can't wait to show you guys. They're awesome. This is from Emily. Thank you, Emily. I just wanted to share these so you guys know that I got your cards. Oh, this was from Paul. I think this, oh, this is an Easter card. This is an Easter card from Paul, thank you. That's how long I've had some of this stuff and I haven't shared it yet. I've totally even forgotten what some of these cards are. This is from Tracy. She sent me a little card note. Tracy, I got it. This is from Scott and Cheryl. Cheryl, who has a YouTube channel, Cheryl's Country Home. Um, this is an Easter card she sent me. Thank you, Cheryl. Sorry, I'm just now showing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. There's just been, April's been crazy. Yes, it has. It's been crazy. Um, and here's another um, Easter card from Linda and Skip. Thank you, guys. And then I got a card from Elizabeth in Florida. She sent me a card with a photo of her two girls. One has passed. Leah has passed. She passed last um, November. But this is her, uh, Leah and Tashia. Oh my goodness, give me my glasses. I think it's Tashia, T-O-S-H-I-A. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, um, but here's the picture. The one on the bottom has passed last November. We're so sorry for your loss. Um, Elizabeth also sent me a donation for our pet food pantry, but sadly we had to close the pet food pantry down. It's a long story. I don't really want to go into, um, I don't want to go into a long story about it, but we've had to close it down. So she had sent a donation in Leah's name. So Elizabeth, I just want you to know that I, I just filled it out. I'm going to be mailing you back that donation. Um, uh, since we no longer had the pet food pantry, you did write or where needed. So I don't know if you wanted it to go towards the boys emergency. Um, medical fund or not. So I'm just going to mail you that back and then you can make the decision um, if you'd like it to go to their emergency fund. If not, no big deal. But I wanted to mail that back to you since we no longer have the pet food pantry. So I just wanted to let everyone know too that the pet food pantry is no longer. Um, my husband's, um, part of the reason is my husband's new office is in a whole another community um, not right here close. I mean, my husband's office was three blocks down the road, so it was easier to take care of for me. Um, like I said, his office is in a whole new community. It's further for me. Um, that's one of the reasons, but there are many other reasons too. So, but we fed a lot of doggies who needed help for almost a year. So, and I appreciate anybody who donated to the pet food pantry. And we're still working to figure out where maybe we could still have it. Um, we were thinking about the Methodist Church who has a food pantry here just down the road in town. But they just don't have room uh, to store the dog food along with the, the food for people. Um, so we're still figuring out how maybe we can start it back up. But I'm not sure yet how that's going to be. So Elizabeth, I'm sending your check back. Um, I just want you to know I'll be mailing that today. Today is the Thursday the 28th. So I'm going to get that in the mail today back to you so you know. Um, all right. Let me get the... Oh, look, look at this. I see you. I see you, Milo and Mickey. Who else is over there? Oh, there's Marley. They got a bunch of toys over there because they hear me talking. Mickey, did you get those toys? Did you get those toys, Mickey? Because you heard me with the camera. Oh, here comes some more. 
Okay, let's get these boys outside and um, we'll film them. Everybody's been doing great. I started grooming Grant yesterday. Um, I finally finished up um, who, 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 Max, Max and Marley. Um, I didn't get everybody done before Easter dinner. And then we had the funeral services and I finally got Max and Marley done. They were up uh, and then Grant were the last three to get done. Grant, I started yesterday and finishing up today. As you guys know, my husband has to help me with holding him and all that because he's a grump about getting groomed. So it takes a couple days to get Grant groomed, but all I've got left to do with him, I did his eyebrows, his face, all that today. Um, went over his body again. I need my husband to hold him so I can do his belly, his legs, and trim his toenails, and then he'll be all done. So boys will be groomed for the next couple months. <laughs> they, I have to groom them about every eight weeks. It, um, eight, eight to 10 weeks, it depends. It depends on how fast the hair grows back. A couple of the dogs, the hair grows back a lot faster than others. Um, Milo and Mozzie's hair grows back so, so fast. What are you doing over there? All right, let's get them outside. It's a nice day today. It's only in the 50s, but it's sunny. It is sunny out. All right, we'll be back. was sleeping I had to wake him up his beard's all <laughs> you got bed beard you got bed beard <laughs> he's like why are we out here what'd you wake me up for it's nice out Grant it's nice out you want this toy I'm hanging on to you want this toy you thought it was food yeah he's got some his hair's his beard's so clean that it's <laughs> when he went to sleep after I trimmed his beard, it's all floofy on the one side. Where are you going to take that? Where are you going to take it? There's no crate out here. Mickey, you're a, you are obnoxious. Mickey is so obnoxious. Can't talk to anyone till I kick his ball. There you go. Where are you gonna take that, Grant? <laughs> oh, you're such a mouthy dog. You're such a mouthy, pushy dog. Yep, it's a nice day today. It was, it got, it was 40s. I think I wrote this on my Facebook page. 40s to 80s to 30s and snowflakes. Um, within a week. Um, was it yesterday morning? I think it was yesterday morning. It was 30 degrees. This morning it was 29 degrees. <laughs> it's gotten up to 55 though today. But yeah. It was cold, hot to where we had shorts on, and then snowing. <laughs> Didn't accumulate, but there was like little snowflakes. I couldn't believe it. End of April, snowflakes. <laughs> he wants to take that in his house. Yes, he does. He wants to take that in his house and hide it. Hide it from the other puppies. All right, I'm going to enjoy some time outside. I think I'm going to go for a walk without the dogs, just go for a walk. Um, I'm trying to do some walking, trying to lose some weight. <laughs> it also helps with uh, just the stresses of life, getting out and going for a walk, clearing your mind. Yes, it does. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to have more videos a little more frequently now. Hopefully life will calm down and we can get some more videos up for you guys. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye.